Hello friends, welcome back to Star Stylist Homestead. Well, it's hot out there. I decided to close my pool today, so I'm looking a little crazy. But it's done. And today, I'm going to make chili again. But I'm throwing a whole bunch of different stuff into this recipe just to try something new. So, I have here... Mm, you ready? A pound of bacon cut into bite-sized pieces because I want to be able to taste them I don't want them in little and it's real bacon this time and not the little uh, chunks <laughs> so I am gonna throw this in that pan I'm gonna do a, um, the bacon first and then I'll I've got over here my carrots about a cup of carrots, a half a cup of celery, um, my peppers, and I've got them all into bite-sized pieces, small ones that they don't take forever. Um, and then I've got two medium-sized onions cut up for it. I'm going to be using my beans. I'm going to use pinto beans. I've got three cans out, but I'll probably only use two. And then I have a pound of um, ground turkey there. I was going to put sausage in it, but because I'm putting the bacon, I'm going to skip on the sausage this time. So while this is cooking, I'm going to grab another pan and start doing my vegetables and then I'll just add them all together. Um, just so it doesn't take forever. Um, doing one at a time, you know? And I got my table out over there that my sister will be very happy that once I get all this going, I'm going to at least cut her material out tonight and start making her covers for her stuff. So, Brent, if you're watching this, give me a couple days. All right, my friends, I'm going to get all my spices and everything together now that that's all cut up and ready to go, and I shall return. All right, friends, my onions have got a nice sear on them. So, I'm going to add all three of these vegetables right to this. I guess those cook in. My bacon is still going. Doesn't that look pretty? I'm going to be using tomato sauce and diced tomatoes in this. So, let me continue to get this going. And I'm just trying to get my bacon crispier than soft. Um, but not burnt. <laughs> so, this pan gets super hot. I gotta keep turning it down. Anyway, let me get this going. As soon as this bacon's done, I'm gonna add the meat into that pan and then I'll add them all together. So I'll be right back. By the way, I'm adding a lid to this. My vegetables, just to keep the steam in and help cook those a little quicker and not let them dry out. So FYI. Alrighty, friends. Now my vegetables are just about done. Um, I am going to put my garlic in here. Mix it around a little bit. I'm just going to put a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic. And then shut it off and wait until this, the meat is all done. Oops, back in there. Right, in fact, I'll shut it off now. Mm, looks yummy. And I didn't want them completely. Mm. I still got the carrots still have a little crunch to them because they're gonna cook in there for a little while too. So just to get them off the heat, I'm going to put this over here and cover it. And 
this is coming along good. Should have just put the bacon in the oven. Then I could have had my meat going. Well, I could have had it going anyway. I just didn't want more dishes. Um, two pans is enough. I'm tired today. And even though it's nice outside, I felt like having chili. Something different. Different. So, okay. All right, friends. I just took the bacon out. <laughs> Yummy. Not burnt, but done. Some of them are a little crispier than others. Um, I put it in there to drain, but I am cooking my turkey meat in with that bacon grease. Just some extra flavor. My turkey meat is still a little frozen, so, which is okay. Usually I just cook it with water, but it's not frozen, frozen. So I'm just going to use that bacon grease. Have all my cans open, my beans soaking. Right, huh? Um, and once this is cooked, I will throw everything in together along with all the spices. I only have two jars of beans here, but I think I'm going to add my third. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add it right now and let it drain. I'm using my own can. Go. We'll let those drain. Wow, that bacon is good. From here, it doesn't take long at all. And if you like your chili with more juice so that you can do the crackers and stuff, you can add um, broth to it. Vegetable, beef, chicken, whatever. Um, I'm using the juice from the tomatoes and everything and the tomato sauce. I don't think I'm going to need it, but if I do, I have some beef broth in there that I'll put in. I am going to throw some salt and pepper on this while it's cooking. About a teaspoon or so. I don't want to lot of salt because we have bacon in here. So, about a teaspoon of salt also. Okay. Matter of fact, while this is, because I'm not going to have to drain, strain it, <coughs> while this is cooking, because it's just about done now, I'm going to add my spices in. I have parsley and cilantro here, about a tablespoon each. I'm going to put that in there. I have thyme, ground thyme. I'm going to put a teaspoon of ground thyme, because I don't have fresh, so... All right, and cumin. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of cumin. And for now, a teaspoon of um, chili powder. For now, so I can taste it. And I won't be doing that until that meat is done. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to call my sister. See if she wants to come over for dinner because this is going to be a big pot of chili. <laughs> and I don't want all the leftovers. I don't know how to cook for just two or three people. Last night we had leftovers. Oh, I cooked a turkey the other night. Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I was going to do it, but I'm like, eh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just too lazy to mess with it. And it was a long day because I was helping my sister move that day. So that turkey didn't even go in the oven until like quarter of five. So we didn't eat until like 7.30 that night. Mmm. This smells yummy. Okay, I'm just going to let that cook a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, that turkey dinner. I love having a turkey dinner in the summer. Uh, I do it every year. So at the end of the year, I buy an extra turkey because they're always on sale. And uh, have one for the summer. And same with prime rib. Because um, you can always get them on sale at Publix or Kroger at Thanksgiving, Christmas time. And um, so I do. I buy a couple of them. I have them cut one into steaks. Or I buy like three of them. Because I get them for like $5.99 a pound. Um, I'll buy like three of them. And I'll have one for New Year's. I'll have them cut one into steaks and then leave the other one whole and I'll have that in the summer for a nice meal. But now that I'm getting a cow that didn't come yet, she should be coming Tuesday because she ended up getting sick last week, so poor thing. But that's fine. Give me more time to clean my freezer. I'm just mowing on this bacon. I love bacon. It doesn't love me though. Okay, this is done. Now, I'm gonna take my vegetables and dump them all in here. Hang on. that all in. Oh yeah, my friends. Now, I'm going to take my tomato sauce. Just one can. I like my tomatoes, my diced tomatoes to stay whole. You can crush them if you want, but I like to taste them. Uh, diced tomatoes. Let me see if I can show you what's going on here without burning my thing here. Mm, look at that chili. Doesn't that look good? It smells. It smells divine. Now I'm going to grab my beans. They're done soaking. Last time I put black beans in them too, and it was actually really good. I might even get another can of these. We'll see. Nah, maybe not. No, that's plenty. Plenty, plenty. Now, I'm going to dump my bacon in here. I'm not sure if I want it all in there or not. I'm going to leave a little bit out. Only because I want to munch on it. Oh yeah, look at that. Bacon chili. Make some hot dogs or something on it. No. I'm going to put the rest of this bacon in. I'm going to take a bite. Oh. oh, here we go. The rest is in. Look, my friends. Doesn't that look yummy? The meat's cooked, so once I swallow this bacon, I'm just going to taste it. Make sure I have enough spices. Mm. broke my glasses too. I had to go get new glasses again. No. I'm going to add a couple red pepper flakes. Not even a half a teaspoon. I'm not big on spicy. 
I just want a few in there. And that's a few. So, this was the deal. If you want thick chili, this is perfect. It's not a lot of juice, but if you want this juicier, I'd suggest either add in another can of tomato paste, a tomato sauce, or even your um, um, broth. I'm adding about a teaspoon more of salt. And then I'm just gonna let this cook. Try this now. That's good. I am gonna sprinkle a little bit more pepper though. Mm, no, I just had the after. Could be the could be the pepper flakes, but that's good. Now I'm just gonna let it cook. I'm going to turn this down too low and just let that cook for a little while. The carrots are just about perfect. So once I'm ready to serve this, I will be back. Alrighty friends, we're all done. Check this out. This is mine. Now, oh, you know what I forgot to put in there? And this is my husband's. I forgot. Well, let me just go back. I ended up putting another can of um, tomato sauce so that it was a little bit more liquidy. As it was cooking down a little bit, it cooked down too much, and I wanted some liquid in there. And then I just added another, um, probably a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons maybe, of garlic salt just to give it more flavor. So... What I didn't add in was my husband's cinnamon, so I'm going to add that into his bowl. But let's see how this is with a dollop of... Mmm. Let me get a bite of that bacon. Bacon, bacon. Mmm. That's amazing with bacon in it. Mmm. Mmm. Gives it that little extra and the spices after adding that garlic salt because I tried it again and I'm like, there's something missing. It was a little bit more garlic, so I probably could have used another tablespoon of uh, garlic in there, but I don't like going over with my garlic either. This is amazing. Recipe will be below. You add whatever you guys want to it. I am going to sprinkle just a little bit of this on my husband's and then he can just mix it in because he loves it with cinnamon. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm going to try it on mine too because usually I cook with it. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, I really should put, I don't think my son likes the cinnamon though. So I'll just put it per bowl. That's so good. So good. So guys, there you have it. Another video down. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. 436. And go cut my sister's material. And get that going. Like and subscribe if you haven't. If you have, thanks for being here. I love you guys. And once I get used to having my house back and everything closed up and whatnot, I'll be back doing more videos. I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> So, but I wanted to get one in for today for you. So, I will see you again soon. Have a great night. Hit the like button, comment below. See you guys soon. Bye.